morning, everyone. Bless you in Jesus' name. I have a message I want to share about the cult that I came from. And as I continue to share these videos, you know, I am working on, you know, delivery and all those things and, you know, putting more emotion into the video, what have you. I'm just a laid-back person. But um, this isn't going to be a video that that really has that excitement either because it's a very tough issue for me to talk about because um, of where I came from and not only the good times, but especially where we're at now. So it's kind of hard to talk about it because, you know, this is where I learned about God and what have you. And the people there, they're, they're great. You know, it's not a, a carnal battle. You know, I'm talking about the spirits. You know, the spirit of Antichrist is there. And, and um, so it can be taken the wrong way, um, you know, especially if, if they were to see this video or what have you. You know, it's not about, you know, them being bad people or, or not there for you or anything and just attacking them. But I want to share this video because, you know, I want to share a little bit of my testimony. I'll probably do a video more in depth on that later, but I want to speak on this for the most part because maybe somebody who's in this organization, they may, they may take this video for them to see to come to the truth and also for people to know about this organization because it is an, or, or an international uh, ministry. Um, they share quite a few similar, similar beliefs with the Jehovah Witnesses. The thing is, with this organization, they are international all over the world, but they're commonly unheard of. And the name of this organization is The Way International, and it was founded by a man they call, he wasn't really, uh, had a doctor degree, but he's called Dr. Victor Paul Werewill. And, and long story short, he has a story of um, being called by God. He's deceased now, but he says that, you know, he heard a voice tell him that if you preach the word, I will give it, I will, I will teach you the word like it hasn't been taught since the first century, okay? Um, there's already error here because God has promised to preserve his word, and we need his word every generation. So for God to, you know, tell this man that in so many words people have not had the word for 18, 19 centuries, uh, that would be God failing to preserve his word, okay? And we know this isn't God because what we're about to see is um, that this man started a cult, an international cult. And uh, to go back on what he had said about, about um, this voice, he had said that he wanted confirmation that this was God speaking to him. And... Sometime, it may have been the next day or whatever, but he said he had asked God to, um, hey, God, if this was you, then make it snow right now. And out of nowhere came a blizzard. Now, I don't remember the city, state, or whatever, but, you know, I've researched, and, you know, they said there's no record of, of a blizzard happening at that time. You know, the cities and states, they, they keep record of, you know, we had a tornado, an earthquake, or what have you, and, and this is where most cults start, you know, because they fall in love with the, the, the founder and they're just so close to God and so great. You know, it's not that they believe they're perfect, but they, they get in love with them and they're able to override the word. And, you know, really anything they say goes. And a lot of people, you know, they don't want to hear about their cult leader, but it would answer a lot of... Um, of questions expose a lot of error if they study their founder, their, their, their his or her life, and their teachings in line with the word. But for the most part, this video, I'm going to be sharing a few of their doctrines, and I'm going to share the word on it, how they are contrary. And again, you know, a lot of people, they knock me for trying to find a perfect church, which I'm not doing. 
it's not that you're going to have every doctor in right, but Colts are qualified as as damnable teachers. Um, they teach damnable heresies. God is not there because what they are teaching is going to lead to hell, and, and God is not in in this place. Um, you know, to have the word wrong in anything, it isn't good. But there's some things that, you know, we are wrong on, but it's not going to affect our salvation. And I guarantee you there is no place that is of God that is, is teaching, you know, a damnable heresy that's straight up going to lead to hell. And if they are, they will be led to the truth because God's not going to have that. So the biggest issue, I'd have to say, is with the Trinity, the way international denies that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are God, similar to the Jehovah's Witnesses. They believe only the Father is God. Jesus is a created being, and they have the same, exact same belief with the Holy Spirit that not only is he not God, not only is he not a being, but he is a force, he's an it. Um, one thing that the Jehovah's Witnesses correctly do realize is that Christ had a a pre-incarnate existence. While they are wrong that Jesus was God's first creation and they believe he's Michael, so according to the Jehovah's Witnesses, the Father created Michael and then Michael created everything and later on Michael became Jesus Christ incarnate, okay? So that's wrong, but they do recognize that Jesus existed before he was born. The way international states that Christ did not exist until he was born, when he was um, conceived by the um, Holy Spirit, sent by the Father. And the way international, they, they read the King James Bible. It's not surprising, you know, people ask, well, what Bible do they read? And um, because, you know, all these crazy doctrines, and the Jehovah's Witnesses, they they read their New World Translation Bible, and they um, edit every verse that that uh, pertains to Christ's deity. They straight up rewrite it to fit their beliefs rather than believe the Bible. The way International does read the King James Bible, but the problem is is that it's under the interpretations of Mr. Werewolf. And I've already done a video on the Trinity, so I'm not going to stay much on it. Um, I do want to read some in John 1. Uh, John 1, 1 states, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So right there you see two individuals. You know, in the beginning, you know, this is speaking of eternity. Jesus Christ, he is Alpha Omega, the I Am, um, the first and the last. You know, these are God's names, and those names, they, they, pertain, they pertain to his eternal existence. You know, Jesus Christ the same yesterday and forever. His birth, his existence, excuse me, did not begin in Bethlehem, nor did it begin in heaven. There is no beginning, you know, as far as him being a a creature. Um, but here in John 1, 1, it's two individuals. See, both are God. The Word was with God. The Word was God. In verse 14, we know the Word became flesh. It, it should be that simple. You know, God became flesh. That means he took on. Uh, humanity, and in between those verses, in verse 2, the same was in the beginning with God, so he's always been with them, all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made, so he's the creator, only God can create, um, and uh, going down to verse 10, he was in the world, as we know Christ walked the earth, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not, so... Victor Paul Werewill, you know, because when you're when you're on the wrong path, you have to reinterpret verses to so support your doctrines. And the Bible is a book you can do that with. You know, it's lies and heresies, but the devil teaches the word. That's why in First Timothy chapter four, you know, says people they're gonna be learning doctrines of devils. It's things taught by demons and. And to support the lie that Jesus existed only when he started his existence when he was born, you know, how do you answer in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Mr. Werewolf taught that 
um, it's in God's um, foreknowledge that Jesus only existed in God's head, so to speak. And, and this is just not the case. So all the verses that, um, rather than what the trouble witnesses do and edit verses, um, the way international, they pretty much, they read the same thing we're reading in the King James, but in their head, it's a, it's a whole other doctrine. I and the Father are one. They're, they're going to reinterpret that. Uh, my Lord and my God, when Thomas called Jesus my Lord and my God, I don't know what they believe on worship. Uh, they will limit it to praise a lot of people when only God is to be worshipped. And here's Jesus allowing people to bow down and worship not praise, worship, things like that. First uh, John 5.20 says that Jesus Christ is the true God and eternal life. Titus 2.13 says we're looking for the, the blessed appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is God the Son who is going to return. He came down to earth, not the Father, and it's him we're looking for, and he's called great God and Savior. So I'm not going to stay on the Trinity but we know when once you deny that, you don't know who God is, and that automatically qualifies you as a cult because you're teaching another God and another gospel. And the, the Apostle Paul wrote, if anybody teaches another gospel, let him be accursed. And he also warns of another Jesus um, being taught. And to teach that Jesus is not God, that is another Jesus. There's other people who believe that. He is God, but he didn't take on humanity. So to deny either one, uh, Jesus' humanity or his um, deity, then that is a, another gospel. It throws the whole gospel off, and it's another Jesus, and and it's another God. It's, it's all of God or none of them, you know. So they claim, they claim to, you know, be Holy Spirit-filled and praying in the name of Jesus, who's the only way to the Father, but they don't have the correct God. You know, the Bible says to honor the Son just as you honor the Father. And if you believe Jesus is less than God, you're going to fail to do that because that would be idolatry to you, which they believe the Trinity is idolatry because the Holy Spirit's a force and Jesus isn't God. So for you to worship them as God and make them equal, then that would be idolatry. And the Bible clearly tells us that Jesus is equal to, to the Father. The Jews wanted to stone him for claiming to be God. And what's really interesting, it's the last part I'm going to touch on, the deity of Christ. Um, as I mentioned, the, the Jehovah Witnesses do recognize that Christ existed before he was born. But, you know, the way that can't even um, realize that when Jesus says things like he's talked on earth, talking about his kingdom, he came down from heaven. He came down from his kingdom to, to save man. Um, in John chapter 8, Jesus is talking to the Jews, the non-believing Jews, and, and he tells them that he has seen Abraham. And the Jews have said, you're not even 50 years old, and yet you've seen Abraham. And Abraham had been dead for centuries. It's not even, you know, 40 years ago. They were just saying, like, you're not even 50. It's like me saying I, I seen um, Martin Luther, you know, somebody telling me you're not even 30. When, it, when really I have to be, you know, 500 years old or such. And Jesus replies with, by saying, before Abraham was, I am. So he's talking about his visit to Abraham, and that's recorded in Genesis chapter 18. And not only do you get that out of, out of um, Christ having a preexistence, but also that he calls himself the I am, which is God's name. That's his name that he revealed unto Moses in Exodus chapter 3. And um, in John 17, I believe, verse 5, Jesus says, um, Now, Father, glorify me with the glory we had before the world was. Remember, Jesus gave up his, his, his glory for a bit, you know, his heavenly glory to become man, as recorded in Philippians chapter 2. And it was time for him to be glorified with the glory they had before the world was. You know, Jesus couldn't claim that they shared glory together and not have existed only in the Father's mind. That You can't make that claim. So I'm going to go to another video, and I'm going to get on the next, the next doctrine. So I'll be right back, y'all.